Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out the resource Punk Staff over on Spigot. Thank you to the author for letting me review any of the resources I wanted to. This one seemed pretty cool, so let's get straight into it. So Punk Staff kind of lets your donators thank staff um, by punching them straight into the air. Um, it has a bunch of cool features, which I really like. It supports all versions, it has permissions, placeholder API support, cooldowns, toggle commands, enabled worlds, for newer versions, hex colors, database supports, broadcast modes, vanish plugins, protocol lib, auto updates, all of that is really, really, really cool. So that's very nice. Uh, we'll go over the configure file in a minute, but kind of what you can see here is you can punch people into the sky, you can put their ranks in chat, you got cooldown, um, there's, there's so many cool things in here, which is really cool. Um, and I can't wait to show this to you all. Um, so the commands for the resource is slash punch staff toggle, punk staff reload, and then you got the two permissions down here, which is the punk staff donor and punk staff staff, which allows you to be punched or to punch different uh, players and stuff. Um, it's a simple plugin. You pretty much drag and drop, install it, and use it. Um, some of the questions is, hey, what is it free? Sure, yay, it's free. Go download it. Do I need my SQL? You don't. You can use SQL Lite, which I'll be using. Do you have World Guard support? Not possible currently. Um, does it have placeholder? You can use placeholder API. Um, all that good stuff. So I recommend looking over this. It also has a cool uh, developer API, which I do recommend you checking out if you have time. You also have events which um, run as well, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let's hop into the configure file, take a look at that. So in the configure file, all the messages are configurable, which is amazing. You can configure everything you want and you get to configure the punch placeholders and stuff um, when they're available. In this case, I don't want these, but I'm gonna keep them just to show you. I don't have vaults installed, so it's just gonna return with the vault prefix but i'm going to leave it there so you can see it and you can see the messages that uh are broadcasted and we'll pick a random one so you can pick which one you can just enter as many of these as you want options the power should it be instant um if false the player will be left on the ground i recommend it you leave it at false as well it looks pretty cool cooldown cooldown for donors global broadcast checks if they're invisibility name tag tags npc tags i recommend keeping these all to true mainly because you don't really want to be punched in the sky and npcs to be punched in the sky if they somehow have that permission the database stuff and all the updating stuff as well which is really cool um so once we get in game you can see when it, we load it up in the console everything loads up pretty nicely and easy here so if we load in game and i guess go ahead and punch this user um they will actually go ahead and launch into the sky and there's some nice sounds and stuff as well um and you can see these uh, prefixes aren't working and since I don't have world guard support or anything set up right now the player is going to die from fall damage so it doesn't disable fall damage itself so what I would recommend doing is this be used in a hub setting or something um, and you wouldn't have to deal with the uh, fall damage stuff and you could just use that um, uh, on your own in like a hub server where you already disable fall damage etc but obviously you can leave suggestions for the author as well if you maybe want a setting to disable fall damage and stuff um, but obviously you just click the player and in a second they fly up into the air it depends on that cooldown and everything else you set up in the configure file um, which is easy to configure and use so you can configure all this including like the how far it pumps you up should it be instant should you just wait for a second pretty much whatever you feel like um, and do and set up and all that good stuff so it's quite easy to install drag and drop uh, easy install easy use very nice working and stuff I recommend checking it out if you have the time this was a short video so if you are new here make sure to subscribe like and comment we will be back in two days for our holiday special which will be for sure Christmas themed by that I mean it's Halloween themed um, and you'll probably see the Christmas video next Halloween but anyway thank you so much for watching today's video lots of cool stuff coming out in the next two weeks thank you for hanging with us today subscribe like comment if you want stickers go vote on the poll in the community tab and I'll see you in the next episode.